Hey, and yes, we are here again with these two amazing reverbs. The Maris Mercury X here, and the Chase Bliss collaboration with Maris called the CXM 1978. If you've seen my other video kind of comparing the two, you'll you'll know that we we kind of created three different presets uh, to match on both of these pedals. Um, because on the CXM you have three algorithms, the room, the plate, and the hall. So I wanted to get those same algorithms, because um, they're built in here too. Because Maris made the algorithms that are, the reverb algorithms that is, in the CXM. So one of the requests was to do a, a video that was all wet, meaning no dry. Dry. But none of that. Make it all wet and really compare the two pedals. Um, you know, going through the low, mid, high frequencies, crossovers, things like that. Um, so I thought we'd do it. We'd try it. As you can tell, the, this is a little bit of a recap on these two pedals and the controls. The Mercury X is, um, it's got a, a screen here that tells you everything, and as you kind of tap through, you can find all the different things that you want to find. Versus the CXM, which has everything on the front, everything on the face. You've got the reverb time of the bass and mids, the crossover, the treble, the mix, the pre-delay. Um, you have a jump button, which is really jumping between presets, so we're not going to do that. But the algorithm type, room, plate, hall, the diffusion level, low, medium, high, tank mod of low, medium, high, and the clock, which is hi-fi, standard, or lo-fi. And the clock is the standalone difference between the two algorithms. Um, there is no choice on the Mercury X to adjust the clock from hi-fi, standard, or lo-fi. It is just what's there. And I think it's hi-fi, maybe standard, I don't know. But there is no lo-fi option. In fact, if you're wanting to try and get lo-fi on the Mercury X, we have to kind of go into some of the modulation settings. Not that do something like a hazy and take kind of the warbles out. So that could possibly do some of it, but for now we're not going to do that. As we're about to dive in, a couple things I'll let you guys know. Um, I'm running a loop out of my Maris LVX. Sounds like this. It will be continuing this whole video, so I hope you enjoy it because we'll hear a lot of it. Make sure, of course, to to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things that we always say. But without further ado, let's let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. Um, let's start with the CXM on the hall setting. It's the red. Um, it's the red knob. So let's kind of see what we've got. Mix is all the way up. Pre delay is all the way down. And just to compare the two side by side, here we go. Trails are on for both. So let's start by turning the bass on this one all the way up. Treble all the way up. And again to about 50.
dive in a little bit more on here. Let's see what we change. No, I'm sorry. Let's go to the mid switch here, about 90. Take them all the way up. Let's bring that base all the way out. Treble all the way up. I love that the sliders on the CXM here are just a visual representation of the knobs and the settings on here. All right, let's do um, right here. Let's take that cross all the way up. tell us how similar these algorithms are. We can cross all the way down. And I'm going to kind of put everything here at medium, about 50%, give or take. hearing is the now let's listen to the tank mod it's on high now so just switch it to low that modulation out of there. Okay, and real quick, I'm going to jump out of the settings here on both of them, set them right back to where we had the presets made, and you'll see why in a second. Alright, so now I'm back at the same thing that we had. Set up like this, because now I want to check out the diffusion and pre-delay. So medium, medium diffusion. Let's go to high. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the pre-delay. And we're going to adjust I guess the timing of the pre-delay, which is that. It's set pretty high right now, but let's see if this makes a difference. Let me switch back over here.
to me that's a lot more subtle. So I'll take this back down. And let's see if we can get the Mercury X to have some of this clock sound. So let's take it from hi-fi to standard. And for this, I'm just going to kind of use the maybe? I'm just testing this out. Let's hear it. No, I don't like that. Okay, so maybe that's where I hear it the most. How close is that? Okay. That makes down to 50. High is all the way up. So you can kind of get close. Alright, now let's try it with a lo-fi. I'll stop right there for a second. So let's talk about this uh, clock, this clock setting here. I love it on the CXM. Just you know, a quick push of the button and it changes it completely. On the Mercury X, it's a lot harder to grab, and I think it's because of kind of where the clock is placed within the, I guess the the path of the reverb. And on the Mercury X, you can really choose with the location. Um, in this, in here, I kind of had it at pre-tank, and that that felt the best to me. But I'm sure you noticed as I did that on the Mercury X, the it wasn't as full. The volume kind of dropped a little bit. It was almost like um, a little bit less dry of a sound versus the CXM, which kind of was punchy. It was it was right there. It was bold. It was it was very full. I like. 
Um, that's that on the, let's see, the hull. Let's jump now to the, let's see, green four. All right, there's green and four. So we are in plate now. Okie dokie, let's make sure the mix is all the way up on everything. Play the loop. And here we go. Get that set up. Take the bass and mids out. Wait, do we listen to this yet? Okay, hang on. Gotta keep remembering to turn that mix all the way up. Alright, so I said bass and mids out, right? triple down. Travel back up to about 50. Take that tank mod down to low. Go to medium. No, oh, hold on. I keep forgetting to do it on both sides. Maybe I'm forgetting that I'm, or I guess I'm forgetting if I'm forgetting. Medium. Into high. Now let's see about um, in that pre-delay.
if you're wondering why there is a delay when I'm switching between the two, between the time you hear it, it's because the pre-delay is being, you know, you know it was so low. Um, like at the beginning, it was like almost like what? 20 something BPM? And because it's a fully wet mix, as soon as you switch it over, there's no attack to go into it. Um, there's no dry signal that you're hearing, so it's just the wet, which takes time, so that's why. All right, so let's go back to preset, the same on this. And let's see if we can do the clock on this one. And it's going to get tricky, and I'll tell you why. If you remember from the, the previous one, we were on the hall setting. I did the uh, clock changes in here by going to the modulation. The modulation I have set up on the Mercury X to kind of match the sound here is already being used in the vibrato mode. So I can't keep that vibrato and add lo-fi or hazy. So we're going to try and do it in the preamp. I actually don't even know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. All right, so a little standard there. Let me see if we can get that the transition, tra sorry, transistor. I'm hearing that. Okay, let's hear what it's in lo-fi. I really like the way this sounds. Got a mental note of this one. All right, let's try. Let's see the gain up a bit here, level down a bit. Let's see. So this was harder with the preamp here. I can't get into that lo-fi territory. Love it. I love that. It's got like a digitally, like an 8 bitty kind of bell chime to it. I don't know. That's what I hear. It's cool. All right, let's turn this guy off. All right. So now we're going to switch to the other one. Black two. Okay, so here is the setting for black two, or in this case, it's like turned off, so I just call that black. Make sure that mixes all the way up, and it is. Okay, let's dive in. This is the room. You know, on this one, let's start with the mods. So it's set to low. Let's turn it all the way to high.
medium. Okay, let's take it back to high. And let's bring up the mids. are the culprit and what I mean by that is because I have trails on both of them when it starts to kind of get out of control out of hand it will continue even after I turn it off so where were we um here we go bass all the way up to the cross about halfway. Fusion set to low, let's turn it to high. Oh, just do medium actually. sound, but it's not the same as this, because on here, it's a delay. Alright, now let's go with the lo-fi. Whoops. I'm going too fast here for myself. Modulate. I keep forgetting that when I make a change and set in one of these, leave it as it is, and then reset the preset. I have to pre reset the preset on both. All right, here we go.
I did there. Okay. Well, here we go. That was, um, you know, really a walkthrough, a dive down into the depths of the reverbs found on the Mercury X and the CXM, the room, the plate, and the hull. And within each of those algorithms, how does each pedal compare? You know, the, the algorithms are designed both by Maris, meaning like um, on the Mercury X as well as the CXM, the algorithms are Maris's reverbs. And Maris was able to put it into the Mercury X, the, re the reverbs. Um, here we go. The 78 room. So there's 78 room, 78 plate, 78 hall, all built into here, which is what this is. CXM 1978, 78 room, see? And a lot of the settings are the same, or at least a lot of the adjustment settings are the same. You have tank modulation, tank mod, you know, mid space, treble mids, bass, treble, cross feed, cross feed, diffusion, the pre-delay which we've, we've seen we've messed with, the mix which we've seen messed with, and the clock, that's the one, that's the one that really does set this, uh, the CXM 1978 apart from the Mercury X, but I hope that as we, like literally as we were videoing trying to find those settings on the mercury x to match this you can get pretty close i hope you found that as well but thank you so much for being here and for listening and being a part of this conversation what we do here you know wouldn't we wouldn't do this if if it wasn't for you this video was again spawned out of comments on a previous one on a quick dive of like let's go deeper so that's what we're here doing and that's what we want to do so if you want to see something let me know and i'm happy to do it but thank you so much for being here i wish you all the best all the happiness all the joy peace